it is unfathomable that somebody in today's society would walk into a church when people are having a prayer meeting and take their lives. We want the entire community to pray for safety for our people and that we would hope that this person who has committed this heinous crime, which is a hate crime, be brought to justice. So we stand in solidarity, but we also solicit your prayers for the family members who have lost loved ones here tonight. These people were in church. They were in church. In church. And they, and, that, and they violated the sanctity of that. Michelle and I know several members of Emmanuel AME Church. Innocent people were killed in part because someone who wanted to inflict harm had no trouble getting their hands on a gun. This should send a message to our legislators, both on the federal and the state level, that guns must be taken off the streets in America. This is the legacy of America, which is acts of terrorism against black and brown people. There is no doubt in my mind that what occurred in Charleston, South Carolina last night is most definitely a hate crime that was racially driven. The world is a messy place right now, and I just hope somehow, someway, somebody just puts it back in order and puts it right back on the straight and narrow path that we need to be. Acts like this one have no place in our country and no place in a civilized society. I want everyone in Charleston and everyone who has been affected by this tragedy to know that we will do everything in our power to help heal this community and make it whole again. Go to BET.com slash What's at Stake and get involved by using hashtag What's at Stake across all social media.